lighthouse. Stupid bandits. Stupid hag raven. Oh. Why is everything spinning? My shoes? Oh, let me think. I, I was walking along the shore looking for mud crabs when a hag raven tried to get frisky with me. She said she liked the cut of my toes. I told her, no, uh, I'm a married man. After that, my memory gets a bit fuzzy. Oh, oh no, my mace. The mace of Dormouse, someone or another. It belongs to my wife. She'll kill me if I lost it. C can you find the mace? Maybe the hag raven has it. I, I think I remember seeing her head toward our lighthouse. I, I need to sit here until the spinning stops. I am so doomed. And it feels like there's a dozen horses dancing the wood elf frolic directly behind my left eye. It's a family heirloom. Been in my lovely Frederick's family for generations. If I go back to the lighthouse without her mace, Frederick will never forgive me. And her mother, she'll give me that look. Oh, you know the one. The one that rips away your confidence and your dignity and leaves you doubting your very worth to society. That look. The hag raven cast a spell. And that's the only explanation or how the may slip from my fingers. Why are you so interested in my bloody shoes? Just please, find my wife's mace. I really can't stand to disappoint her again. You ask more questions than a curious Khajiit. What's to tell? She screeched something unintelligible at me, tried to take advantage of my manly charms, and then cast a spell on me. If she's headed to our lighthouse, m my wife is in danger. something I can do for you? I really am rather busy at the moment. Of course not. Do I look like a monster to you? Let me guess. You met my drunken waste of a husband, Parkier? I'm sure he was remorseful, hungover, and telling tall tales. And he probably wasn't wearing any shoes. He lost the mace of Dumont Belland? Again? And tried to blame a hagraven? I found him last night, drunk as a naked Nord and refusing to listen to a word I said. He ran off, waving the mason and yelling incoherently about mud crabs and his manly charms. Parkier probably dropped it near the river. It's not that far. Just head toward the mountains and you'll run right into it. Maybe you'll find his shoes while you're out there too. In any event, I'm grateful for your help. And a remarkable pedigree as well. My ancestor, Dumont Balland, carried it proudly into battle. Most notably, it helped him win the Second Battle of Shornhelm. Or was it the Third Battle of North Point? Well, it's oh so important to my family.
My friend! How good to see you again. Did you give the Hagraven a proper thrashing? And did you happen to find my wife's mace? Tell me all is well, and we'll drink to our good fortune. My wife? You met the lovely Frederic? <laughs> what about that feisty Hagraven? I'm sure I remember her saying something about how arousing mud crabs on the half shell could be. Uh, uh, but tell me, uh, did you find the base? Ah, yes. I was trying to smash a few mud crabs when the bandits arrived. I barely escaped with my manly charms intact. Well, thanks for finding the mace of Dumont Belland. Frederic can get very loud and screechy when she's upset with me. These don't look like my shoes. Mine had tassels here and a tear there. And more buckles. My shoes definitely have more buckles. But thank you for finding my wife's mace. I wish I could have been there with you when you took down that uh, hag raven. There's my brave warrior, as barefooted as the day I met him. Do you remember anything from last night? There you are, my sweet. I battled a hag raven last night. Or was it a mud crab? Yes, dear. Of course, dear. And what did I tell you about wearing shoes? You promised you'd put them on whenever you left the lighthouse. Thank you for returning my mace. My husband always loses things, and he refuses to put on a decent pair of shoes. But I do love him so. As soon as he's sober, though, we're going to have a talk about why I remind him of a hag raven. Shoes? Shoes are for a lesser man. My manly toes need to breathe. It's a medicinal fact. <laughs> 